after eight hours, two delayed flights, and a slight scare in Toronto that I lost my luggage, we are finally back in New York City. Oh. Oh. We made it. I am so tired. But I'm feeling a little bit better because the hotel hooked us up with like, they gave us gourmet chocolate bars. We got Honduran Trinitario, Japanese green tea, and Honduran Trinitario. This is sick. Usually I have absolutely Terrible, terrible, terrible luck with flights. Like if I'm taking two flights, at least one of them gets delayed. Guaranteed, but my luck has finally changed. The Winnipeg airport shut down like literally three hours after I got out of the city because it's beautiful here right now, but this is what it looks like back in Winnipeg today. If you woke up in Winnipeg and you park outside, there's a pretty good chance your car looked like this when you tried to head into work this morning. I do not miss that city one bit in the slightest. I am so glad that we are out of there and we are in New York City, but I've established a bit of a problem. I feel like a plebeian walking around on my feet. Like, I need a boosted board. There's all these wonderful smooth streets and all these bike lanes everywhere and I'm stuck walking because there's some stupid laws that you can't take a giant battery on an electric skateboard on a plane. If one of you beautiful people has one that you want to lend me, I'm being serious. If you have one and you're in New York and you want to lend me your boosted board for like three days, I'm in the city till Wednesday. Seriously, there's all these wonderful streets, all this wonderful traffic to weave through and narrowly miss getting hit by a car, and I'm stuck walking on the sidewalk. <sighs> One of the many amazing things about this city is that it's so easy to get shoes before release date. I mean, you can get a pair of shoes a month before, two months before, or in our case, two weeks before they come out. I am dead set on getting this pair of shoes today. I know for a fact they have a size 12 at Flight Club. I don't really wanna go to Flight Club. Option one is round two, or is that option two? Round two's right there. We're gonna go check out round two. I don't know if they have sizes at all. I'd assume they do. I don't know if they do. I really, really, really hope they do because I, I hate paying flight club prices. Nope, they had grade school pairs. I got so excited I saw them on the shelf and then it was like a size six youth. I can't fit a size six youth. I really, really, really hate to say this because I hate paying ridiculous prices for shoes, especially when they're gonna come out in two weeks and I can get them way cheaper. But that being said, I think we're going to Flight Club. As far as Flight Club goes, I need to give them some credit, as far as Flight Club goes, the price was actually pretty good on these. Like, it's, it's not great, but it's not terrible. I just walked into a foot action on 14th really, really quick to check out some shoes, and I'm realizing they have Mocha 3s on sale for 130. I sort of forgot that these re-released, but they're on sale for 130, and then these right here, the Jim Red and Black, do we have a nickname for these? But these ones are sitting here. It looks like in my size. The problem is I can't remember if I have a pair of these or not. I might have bought a pair, but I might have sold them. I think I bought a pair, I just don't know if I still have them. This is the problem when you have so many pairs of Jordan 1s. This is the third pair of shoes I've bought from Flight Club, I think. I got a pair of Dover Street Market 1s for a really good price, and then I got a pair of gold medal 
Ultra Boosts, which now go for nothing. But at the time that I bought them, I got them for a really good price, like $270 or something like that. These, on the other hand, paid a little bit too much, $470 for a size 12. They go for less than that on StockX, I think. I'm not honestly 100% sure. But to get them in hand two weeks early to make a video for you guys, I think it's 100% worth it. Just a good business decision at that point. Plus, I can put these on my feet and flex on some people while I'm out here just a little bit because these haven't come out yet. You know what? Having these in hand, I hadn't seen these in hand until today. And I hated these things on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. I bashed these. I did not like them at all. But after getting these in hand, you know what? They're not terrible. They are not terrible and I think they're sort of gonna grow on me. This crazy shiny finish. I am so sorry. There's construction all over the place out here. Let's just do the rest of this in my hotel. And we're back. As far as hotel rooms go, this actually is half decent lighting. But back to the shoes. The, the matte or the shiny finish, pardon, is not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was thinking like, oh my, these are trash. I'm not getting these. These look like poo. And then I saw them in person. I was originally just gonna pick these up for a video. I'll be honest with you guys, I wasn't gonna keep these. But uh, they look way better in person. Lots of people have theorized that they put this shiny crinkled coat on the shoe to sort of make it look like a glass backboard shattering like this is all like the veins and broken glass you know if you've ever seen like a broken car window when it doesn't actually break there's just all those veins going through it i could see how that could look sort of similar to this now that being said if they had just done a regular leather just like a matte tumbled leather or a smooth leather they would have been 10 times better but that being said these are not terrible. I thought these were gonna be just trash. I was like, ugh, not buying these, not touching these with a 10 foot pole, not touching these with an 11 foot pole. These are poo. Looking at them now, they're actually really, really nice. The finish looks way better in person. I'll try and do it as much justice as I can on video, but do yourself a favor and at least go check these out when they release. Go to your Foot Locker, ask if you can see them early, sign up for the raffle. They'll usually show them to you if you ask nicely. You can go check them out. They'll pull it a size for you and show them to you. But I would 100% recommend at least giving these a chance because I know I hated on these so hard on Twitter. Like I was one of the most adamant detractors of this shoe. I was like, no, 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 don't buy these. And here I have them and I paid $470 for them. Was it worth an extra $310 over retail? For me, yes. For me, 100% yes. I get to make a video of them. I get to share them with you guys two weeks early. I get to take some fire Instagram pictures and stunt on the gram. I'm just kidding, that's not what I bought them for. Okay, that's sort of what I bought them for. My nose looks very crooked as well. Lots of you guys have been pointing that out. I broke my nose in June, never got it set, and now it just sort of shifts places. Some days it looks pretty straight, and then I'll sleep weird and sort of sleep on the side of my face, and then I wake up and it's really crooked for three or four days, and then it'll pop back into place. Point being, I should probably go to a doctor and get it fixed. Since we got the size 12 though, we can actually throw these on feet. I'll give you guys a quick look of what these bad boys look like on feet. This beautiful, beautiful cream sort of almost, it's, it's a very, very, very light orange mixed in with that cream on the outsole looks great. The patent leather, I, I still don't know how I feel about it, but you guys can see what they look like on feet. I think they look very, very, very good, much better than the original images looked. And I mean, I've seen Seth's video of these. I thought they looked like poo. I told Seth, I'm like, Seth, these look terrible. And he was like, oh, just, just give it a minute. See these in person, you're gonna change your mind. And 100% correct. I saw these in person, I changed my mind, I actually, really do like these. They're not gonna break into like my top 10 Jordan ones of all time, but all things considered, these things are pretty good. Oh, God damn it! See, I always get roped into this stuff. All right, I'll give you my review. I wasn't expecting these to look like this. I mean, I kind of was, but they're like old looking. Yeah, they're not as bad as pictures. They're like really old looking. It's like, it's almost like if you took a plastic bag and then put it over the shoe. 